What's up, what's up, guys? Your Fruit Punch Savior here. And we are back with more Red Album 2. Wait for the opening. I'm gonna wait for the opening. You know I want that opening. The opening's got like, I say my piece after the opening. Oh, so close. So close. So close. Damn. That's all we ever could be. Close. Oh! Jackie! We're so close to the Jackie route! I can fucking taste it! Ah! Not yet. Not yet, Shiaki. We're doing normal ending two. Normal ending one first. And then Koharu. That ending was pretty good. Mari san? I think Mari san's the next girl. After we get the normal endings first. Kazu san. You know, honestly, I don't think we're ever gonna do the Kazu san route. Maybe. Now we're doing her route. I'm still thinking about. So, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a spoiler. There's gonna be a true route. In true route, you can only choose two girls Kazusa or Sesuna. I think I might choose Sesuna as the true girl. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I don't know, man. It depends how smooth Sesuna route goes. If Sesuna route wins me, I might choose Sesuna as the true girl for the game. If Sesuna route. Makes me sad and angry on Cessna. I might choose Kazusa. It all depends. It all depends. It all depends on everyone. How how Cessna reacts and everyone route. Did this game makes me want to feel bad and guilty for Cessna? Or will my heart will truly love Kazusa? Even after all these years. But that's in the future. For today. Today? For now, yeah, I guess today, we're gonna focus on normal ending, dude. And we're gonna do normal ending one. Dude, my hair is like wild, fuck. Oh well. I guess we're gonna have to continue, fuck it. <laughs> one, so two, three, four, five, six. This one, man. Two, three, four, five, six. Wait, what? Hold on. I thought I was prepared, but I wasn't. Okay, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Noma ending one, we're not having any girls in our life, dude. The bachelor life it is. Should I go to work? And fell in love with Koharu. Or should I stay at home? Like I'm doing right now in real life. I'm not alone. Cessna should be going through a sleepless night right now as well. It's my fault. And it's Cessna's fault. The two of us are being devoured by a vicious feeling of loneliness. We sure are a good match. Yes, me. Cessna. My voice is trembling because of the pain, and definitely not because I'm holding back my tears. Neither of those win me any points in the coolness department, but as a guy, it's never a good idea to shed tears so easily. What if you're sensitive, man? Not that I cry all the time. Uh. It might be an old-fashioned way of looking at it, and I might even be laughed at because of it in this day and age, but there still exist people willing to acknowledge that side of Kitahara Haraki. Once again, I'm going to be a weeb. Oyasumi Sesena-chan. No, no, fuck it. Let me redo it. My bad, my bad. Oyasumi Sesena. I hope we can both get some sleep. I, go, I hope we can both dream of something nice. At least in our dreams. It would be nice if we could just stay in each other's embrace until dawn comes. December 26th, Sunday. So, the card is normal ending. This isn't ne necessarily bad ending. But you know, there's, uh, there's, there's some visual novels. Not some, a lot of visual novels. 
where you can have an ending without going out with anybody. So I think it's one of those type of endings for a white album too. We're just not going to be with anybody. We're just going to be living the bachelor's life. Christmas was nothing more than an ordinary winter day after Christmas Eve had passed. The snow had stopped piling up by the time dawn arrived and only served to deliver the chill of winter and hinder the steps of passerbys. Then by noon, it completely dissolved into blackened soil that merged into the ground. As sarcastic as it is of me to put it in this way, I can't deny the possibility that my current mental state has something to do with it. No, freaking turn off your damn alarm. <sighs> and today was just another winter day, ordinary winter day. It's not even Christmas anymore. It's been more than a day since I returned home. I spent a whole night engraving the period of the dark sky gradually brightening outside the window in my mind. I then came to the clear realization that nights are not eternal. Watching the day of the sky covered with clouds darkening in real time also made me remember that daylight doesn't last forever either. And I spent the time, the same especially long winter night under the hellish torture of being wide awake in my room without any lights on. Damn, it's getting too real. I remained like that until the bright morning sun finally appeared a second time to burn daylight into my eyes. I yet to manage to even get a wink of sleep despite such a long passage of time. I had hope fatigue and sleepiness would cloud my mind. However, they failed to expel the memories of a certain someone out of it, only serving to give me a splitting pain. If I keep spending my time alone in a room like this, my mind probably won't be able to take it. In the end, however, I have neither a place to take refuge nor a person to provide me the escape I need. I remain trapped in the darkness, seeing no trace in the exit. ただいま留守にしております。ご用の方は発信音の後にメッセージをお願いします。本当に出かけてんのかよ。もうやる気。この前の件だけどな。帰ってきたらちゃんと話ししようぜ。で、マリヒカンもセルフォン。これ聞い
as if wrapped by the gentle sunlight and dyed a warm red before turning black. I entertained myself with the question of whether or not I will be able to move forward, even if just a little, when the next dawn arrives. A question I keep asking myself over and over again. Damn, the 28. Just still trying to call him. <laughs> Unable to determine how far the source of the sound is from me, I bodily stretch out of my hand in the faint darkness. As my fingertips finally touch a solid item that's vibrating rhythmically, they tell me that this is what I've been looking for. Oh, yeah. Hey, this is Mari's son. Damn. We never heard Mari's son at all, Kohadaro. What her what's her last name? Kazalka. How you say it? Kazalka. Damn, that's hard to say. I hope I can just call her Morrison, bruh. I realized that I just casually answered the phone. It's been days since I last had a conversation with someone. <laughs> but Mike can't keep up with the first conversation I had in quite a long while. Whatever the fact that I just woke up means uh, my reactions are still dull. Never arrived at the reality that I just woke up. I replied with odd, redundant responses. I was actually asleep. Finally asleep. Oh. As I opened the curtains, having been untouched for more than 24 hours, the radiance of the gentle winter sunlight dazzled my eyes somehow. And my memory serves me right, the clock pointed at 12 the last time I checked it. Mean that I've been sleeping for about an hour. Uh, the truth is, my head and my body haven't rested at all. My head is still as hazy as ever, and I still feel quite muzzy after, actually. Such a half hearted excuse of an attempt to sleep actually ended up enervating me even more. Nevertheless, the fact that I successfully fallen asleep holds great meaning in itself. It gives me a chance to talk to someone, above all things. I have my unconsciousness to thank for, answering my continuous endeavor of running away from contacting anyone. Oh, did he quit? <laughs> Hey, did he quit in Kohadaro? He never talked to Morrison once. I don't remember. The fact that I was uh, quick to make a lie in my first instance of communication in a while is somewhat awkward, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, fuck no, bro. I'm out for the year. See you next year. That's what I would want to say. But more professionally. What would you say? Haruki. The way I am now. Her previous statement as sentence didn't come across as a noise or her just being nosy about it all. Having someone unexpectedly tell me that I'm needed by the very outside world that I isolated myself from right now is enough to elate me. Uh, 
けれど私の方は今年中はもう来ないんだ今日から取材でアメリカで今慣れた What? えー、年末なのにニューヨークとかロスとかいろいろ回って帰りがけにガムで友達と合流してそこからバカンスこっちに帰ってくるのは来年の5日くらい Bruh I would definitely tell her I won't come in for work. There's no reason to. So, this guy. What's got it? Some of this. I see. She went to tell me about all that. Even if to a mere subordinate like me. She says so on as a. No, bro. Bruh. That's just small talk. She wants you to come back to work. Wait a minute. I don't know her. Sorry. No worry. I'll forget about the entire conversation. I won't come in for work. わかりました。沢子さんにもよろしく伝えてください。楽しんできてくださいって。いいよ、別にあいつはどうでも。もう。Okay。あ、マリさん、weird changes in her attitude really perplex me sometimes。and I still can't understand her completely to this day。あ、それでここからが一応の問題。北原の住所に郵便物送っといたから。こっちにも昨日届いたばかりで、直接渡す時間がなくて。俺に一体何ですそれがね、東馬陽子のニューイヤーコンサートのチケット。That's Yoko, though. That's Toma Mom. That's not Kazusa. But you know, Kazusa might be there. Oh, is no one ending Kazusa ending? The secret Kazusa ending? The moment I finally managed to keep up with the conversation, a name that makes my head go blank completely appears once again. Marsan, who lightheartedly telling me all this. While being unaware of the whole story, it's making it increasingly difficult for me to say anything. If I were to meet Tomo Yoko, she'd probably be shocked yet again, wouldn't she? But the fact that the author of the article was her daughter as well. No.、Mm, what would really be surprising would be if that she actually still remembers me. We only met once, three years ago, I thought. Bro, she'd be. I don't know if she'd be happy to see me. Would she? Shock? Wouldn't be the right word. She probably knew you wrote this, Hadiki. Because no one else would know about this. She'd know that for sure. But would she be happy or mad? That, I don't know. I know, Marisa. I'm not sure what I'm saying. I'm not sure what I'm saying. Damn. Got him. Yeah. Being unaware of the whole story, huh? I can only say that I m i s s u n e s t i m a t e d m a r i s a n No, she couldn't possibly know the truth about everything. I don't recall telling her that much. So, simply Morrison being perceptive, then. And at the same time, 
It's undeniable proof that she's been worried about me. So, this is a She's only been watching over me closely, hasn't she? Even so. Even so. Well, I'm glad that she's favoring her subordinate like this. I can't help but feel that it doesn't feel right. So now I こうしてマリサに慰めてもらうなんて、おこがましいにも程があると思うんですよ。だから余計落ち込むのか。誰も自分を叱ってくれないから。叱った後許してくれないから。What the fuck, dude? Hey, this is the power of being an adult. Technically, everyone's an adult in this game, right? Technically. But Mari-san is the oldest. Probably the most mature one. I don't know. I think Jackie's pretty... She's pretty, uh... What's that called? Perceptive. I think that's the word I'm looking for. She's pretty perceptive, too. Maybe that's why I like Chiaki a lot, too. Because of that. But Mari-san, you know, she knows. Now what, Hadaki? How do you respond to that? But well, Marisan just pointed out was pretty much the same thing I've been thinking about until yesterday. Damn! I like the scarf. The coat? It's I. But that scarf? That's a cute scarf she got there. So I'll let it out of his chest. If he talked to someone else, he might feel better.自分が楽になれば相手に償おうって気も起きるんじゃないかな。まあ、話したくないなら別にいいけど、完全にお前のプライベートだし、私はバイト先の上司でしかないし。もし、ルクナミ、ブロ。これるんですか。ウェストバージ
Oh, fuck, she feel awkward about that. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I have to hear that again. Damn, bro, she hurt. Well, she kind of asked for that. She did told uh, Haruki, go ahead, let it all out. She had that coming. Damn. <laughs> She's thinking herself now. Surprisingly, I managed to tell her everything. Whoa! Really? Damn, he really do trust Mari's son. Wait a minute. Dang. Of the very first person I invited into our group, who happened to be none other than Miss Hojo Hyatt herself, and how I quickly grew close with that girl, who was unbelievably sociable despite her popularity and fame. And on that night after the school festival ended, the one who had exchanged a confession of feelings for me wasn't Kazusa, but the other girl. It wasn't Kazusa and I that were considered officially together by everyone around it at the time. It was me and the other girl instead. And yet I betrayed that girl with Kazusa. And then there, were the, this, there was the period that lasted until today, where the both of us continued to hold on to all of our past, regrets, and never ceased to shackle the other. And then there was Christmas Eve. Then he told her about that too. Damn. Actually, Haruki, he did tell Konharu. I do remember that actually. But he told her like after New Year's and shit. So technically, in the timeline, this is still in December. And if you're gonna count all the routes, I guess we still haven't done Konharu route in Cessna. But I feel like Marty's probably still gonna be the first one, right? Before New Year's. And then there was Christmas Eve. Nah, I bet she at least might be earlier. Alright, fuck it. Never mind. Let's keep going. Well, I betrayed her with Kansa for yet another time. And the both of us realizing the new decode reality that we're still strangling each other. Marisan ended up listening quietly, just as she promised she would. Just for some slight clarification at times where they jump in my story timeline, but she truly listened to me otherwise. That's why I told her everything, leaving nothing unsaid, even the most important part. Sorry. <laughs> Nah, you'll never forget that. That's a wild story. I'm sure that the both of us will still remember our conversation today the next time we meet. Even so, it'll be easier for us to pretend that we've forgotten all about it after some time passes. She'll likely chosen to hear me out through the phone because she's gone as far as to consider all that. Or perhaps I'm just sticking too deep into it, aren't I? Is she crying, dude? I can't hear, man. I want to buff up the volume. I've got this game voice is pretty low, but I guess I, I haven't messed with the setting, so everything should be the same. It's just that Mari's very low, huh? Yeah, she's definitely crying over the phone, dude. I'm 
マリさんならどうしますか、oh. I would have cheated. I'm not gonna lie. Bruh. Yes. What if you dated the hottest girl on earth, but she's not the girl you love? What if the girl you love is right in front of you, but you're already going out with the hottest girl on earth, and the girl you love loves you back? Would you cheat on her? You can't break up with the girl you are going out with either. That's not allowed. Why? Because he didn't do that in the game either. Because guess what? The hottest girl on earth, you love her too. That's why you can't break up with her. What will you do? You said build a haram, you're going to hell. You know it. That's okay. You're both going to hell. I think I would have said that too. No, I don't want to do that. Because that would hurt Kazusa. I don't want to hurt her, bro. I would have broke up with uh, Cessna, but that's not allowed, so. I would have cheated on her. So, I would have had a secret affair. But it wouldn't turn out right. And then we're back here. I like that. I'm still in that. Oh, that's probably a well-known thing already. But I like that. Plan, do, check, act. PDCA. A cycle that, while originally intended for the management and manufacturing industries, is now applicable on pretty much any job in our modern day. A cycle should be into my head during the first week of work. <laughs> I have a feeling that half of what she just said was an attempt to try and hide her embarrassment. Though I know there's a truth in the other half, nevertheless. To change myself for the better, to work hard for that change. Yeah. Oh. Correct him. <laughs> and that was definitely her trying to hide her embarrassment. Even so, even if I did manage to read her like a book, I don't see myself being able to do anything other than to follow what she said. Are we going to go to the concert? Is she going to New York? Oh no, that's her. Damn. She missed her flight.
and I went. Damn, February 27th, Sunday. Holy shit, that's a big jump. That's two months later. Then we're still going out with Sesana. We humans tend to become even more aggressive and irritated than usual when our mistakes are clearly pointed out. And not too long after answering a phone call from Takia, who I hadn't heard from in a while, my voice became charged with such a negative tone. On a certain day during winter break, Sesuna sent me a text message. The subject was Happy New Year, sounding like something any normal friend would send. But the content was anything but something a normal friend would send. It was filled with regret and hesitation, like she was trying to approach me, who she had abandoned. After that, we text each other more and more often, but it felt like we were miserably trying to disguise the fact that we broke up by staying friendly. We haven't made any promise since then. Oh, I guess technically they did broke up, huh? Maybe because they lost patience by watching us not making any move, Taka and Io invited us to a skiing trip two weeks before the final exam was over. Winter is almost over. The season of White Album is coming to an end. Oh! The change of season always gives me something to look forward to, while holding a certain fear at the same time. After all, whenever there was a change in our relationship, it will always be during the season. We will grow closer during the snowy day, but would hurt each other during the snowy night. We will embrace each other while shivering in the cold, but our frozen hearts will make us pass each other without realizing it. If I don't make a move now, nothing will happen, but if something does happen, I'm not confident enough to say that we'll still be able to smile. And so, for this year of winter, I'll probably... Who do you think the guest is? I think the guest is Chiaki. Right? Because that's his only friend. What other friends he have? He doesn't have friends. He only has Chiaki. Takia and Io. That's it. I apologize to Takia in my heart one more time. Hang up the phone and... Donata desu. Yo. Oh, it's Takia. <laughs> oh, shit. What the fuck? You were rude just on the phone. No. The moment I opened the door, I became speechless after seeing the unexpected guest. Dude, I didn't even know that, too. No wonder he didn't question who the fuck's visiting you. You have friends? Do <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you gotta love Takia though, right? He's been the man. I really didn't think much of him when we first saw him, cause you know he's the he's the playboy, right? He get all the girls. I'm like, ah, oh, he's probably just a womanizer. He is a womanizer, but he's still a nice guy. まさか断るなんて言わないよな。お前は今こうして用事もなく家にいるし、そして俺たちはすでに明日の宿を取ってある。This year in winter, I will. Not what? 
Is this anime? It is. No, it's not anime. It was kind of anime. Do you really want to see EO face? I guess. Let's see. I know I'm covering up just a little bit. There you go. You can see the full scene. It's pretty good. It looks awkward. Doesn't it? Then no one's talking. That's because I haven't pressed anything. EO's cute. EO's pretty cute. I do like EO too. But... You know, put it in the middle of how to get assessing up the camera. <laughs> Yo, there's no one sitting in the middle seat. I'll be the third wheel. Now, nah, I don't want to. Last time I tried to uh, move the stream, remember it crashed? I'm not moving the stream ever again, dude. <laughs> not worth it. I don't want to be the third wheel. I'll just cover EO mouth. I need to buff this up. I can't hear. Don't worry. I won't like change your volume. It's just me. I just can't hear. I don't know why. Setsuna ga ayamaru koto natte nani mo nai daro. Dochi mo hinai sha natta shi. You been in that situation? Oh, there's a lot of people. Yeah, but it's like uh, usually. I would tell whenever I ride in a car with people, I would tell them to put the music on. I like to listen to music in the car. So we never had like an awkward silence like this before. But <laughs> Damn. Why do Taki and Sessina have like the same hair color and same eyes color? They could be related. That could be like her cousin or something. いいものかよ、いかがですか大切な道さん。うーん、あまりにも初々しすぎて、こっちが恥ずかしくなってきますね。お前ら知り合って何年だよと突っ込んでやりたいです。まるで合コン初心者同士の2人がいつの間にか2
That's right. It has happened before. Cessna hasn't lied to a family before. Three years ago, for the high spring trip during Christmas. Three months ago, when we couldn't even start a quarrel at the park. <sighs> Seemed like it was my fault every time. And Cessna didn't refuse the trip, probably because... The two perpetrators turned their heads around and the flash smiles our way. <laughs> That'd be funny if they did that, but you know, that probably be too much work. Smiles that hint at an overbearing and egoistical efforts of these two terrorists praying at the weak spot in our hearts. And yet we know that their truest intentions are earnest, for that is not like we could say anything harsh to them either. Yuki? Oh snap. Whenever it snows, something bad happens. Following the Cessna line of vision, the sight of the countless snowflakes descending from the sky fills my vision. I like this song. Honestly! Ooh. We've been on a highway in the car of a paper driver for three hours now. Tokyo is already far behind us. We're now at Yamanashi and we'll be at Nagano soon. I suppose this place is called Snow Country for a reason. Before we knew it, the snow began to coat our surroundings, and it's only going to get stronger by the looks of it. We tune up talking about the snow and making non committal committal replies. We continue our awkward conversation as usual. For the two of us, the things we said probably shared hundreds of words worth of information. Watching snow fall through a car and windows, no matter when, will without fail invoke that day from our memories. The view from three years ago. Back then, the three of us stared at the sky together. But though we're at a distance so close that our shoulders are almost touching, neither of us tries to take the initiative to touch each other. To touch the other. Without a doubt, we're living the same memory right now. No, it's exactly because we're thinking of the same memory right now that an invisible wall has come to full form between us. <laughs> it seems we're fine with normal conversation like these now. We're no longer lower our heads and we can look at each other and smile. いまのうちに寝といた方がいいぞ。向こうに着いたらすぐにゲレンデ直行だからな。え、でも運転変わらなくていいのか？いいっていいって無理やり連れ出したのはタケヤなんだからさ、ちゃんと責任取らせるよ
that's my first ending I got. Every time it snows, man. And the dim light sets in the stairs at my profile. I pretend not to notice and let go after putting the blanket into Cessna's lap. But even if I let her go, I let go. Cessna doesn't break her gaze away from me. A glint in her eyes makes me feel as if she's both blaming me and worrying about me. <laughs> Although we were at a distance so close that our shoulders were almost touching, neither of us tried to take the initiative to touch the other. Aruki looks kind of cute, bruh. I'm not gonna lie. He kind of looked like a girl. If you kind of look at it that way. Kinda. But now, there's no longer, that's no longer the case. <laughs> as soon as she fell asleep, Cessna leaned her head on my shoulder. But I couldn't even bring myself to embrace her. I only supported her with my body. The blanket that was meant for Cessna somehow ended up on me as well, and now we're sharing it. Cessna must have done this on purpose. It's like she's frustrated at me for hesitating. That's why she's doing something so pushy. Soon after our distance was reduced to zero by force, Cessna had leaned on my shoulder, and soon enough she leaned onto me completely. Cessna's body is warming me up. One blanket for two people? That is just the best way for us to stay warm. There's nothing more to it. Who am I kidding? We're not just keeping each other warm. I'm sure everyone here knows that as well as I do. Sustainer waits gives me comfort. Long eyelashes arc from her closed eyes. Sweet breath spills out from her wet lips. Not a man in this world could deny that Sustainer face is adorable right now. Any man would love to take on the task of being this girl pillow, without a doubt. And I'm sure that anyone would feel blessed at this moment. Even me. In fact, exactly because it's me that this feeling is all the more intense. Excuse me. Because Cessna is a very precious girl to me. No matter how many times we're a clash, no matter how many times we hurt each other, and no matter how many times we bid each other farewell, the snow powers up outside the window, slowly becoming thicker. Winter isn't over yet. Our own season white album still marches on. Cessna hand and my hand overlap. Right now, I neither want to let go of it, nor do I have the courage to hold it tight. But it's winter now, and I'm sure that time will start moving again for the two of us soon enough. Upon a snowy day, we grew closer. Upon a snowy night, we heard each other. And so later today, when the snowy daybreak arrives, I wonder what our relationship will turn out to be like. Question mark. Hmm. Is this no ending? No way, right? It's gonna be like a. Oh, they fell asleep. Is it gonna be like a vague relationship? I wonder what our relationship would be like. Hmm. Drop the credit. Don't tell me this is no ending. Damn, that's no ending. That was pretty damn sweet. All right, I guess I clap it up for that. No ending's pretty sweet. Pretty, pretty sweet, but there's no conclusion, right? Even though it's called No More Ending, there's no conclusion to that ending, dude. It's a cliffhanger. We'll watch the opening. Is there credits in this game? Oh yeah, there is credits. We saw Koharu credits, right? I guess because it's like a No More Ending, there's no credits. So I guess we'll use this opening as a credit. Why not? You do that anime sometimes, right? Opening the credit. I love you, Chiaki. We're gonna do her ending next. There's a there's no more ending too, but for some reason Chiaki's involved. Damn, I love that. You know that pose? What they like? 
I love that pose so much. I don't know if they still use that pose for anime. Pose is so cute. It's like a T pose, but it's not a T pose. It's not like straight. It's like the hands are up. So they're like that. It's like they're flying. That's what it feels like. That's the pose of flying. They're free. anime is godlike. <laughs> well, I should say this visual novel. It feels like an anime for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe because I just watched the opening, bro. It is an anime opening. <laughs> but I feel like this entire thing's been an anime for me. Maybe because I have a vividly active imagination. So whenever they talk in my head, I just picture them moving. I don't know why. I'm weird like that. So whenever they talk, I feel like they're moving. And I just picture the scene. And then also, if it's not voice, I just like feeling the voices in my head. Like, I don't know, I'm weird like that. But that's No One Ending 1. We're gonna do No One Ending 2. And it's gonna have... Chiaki. It's like, it's called No One Ending 2. But it's still... It's like No One Ending 2, parentheses, Chiaki. Parentheses. So we're gonna do that ending next.